What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome to day 59 of This is the Police. When we left off, Jack got hit in the head. Uh, he was in a coma for a lot of time. Uh, and now we're first day back in the office. And I've actually read somewhere that this game goes up to 180 days. So I don't know whether we're going to get through all of it or whether this series is going to last that long. Because I think now we're like up to... Up to like third. This is like episode episode fourteen or fifteen or something like that. So I don't know if we're gonna reach the end, but um, we're gonna keep going until this stops becoming fun. <laughs> Jack Boyd recovers from head injury. Police chief awakens from coma. Jack Boyd unable to name attackers. He's got a new car. That's what I'm proud of. That he's got a new car. All right, we need to give out some stripes. Let's give it to you. Good on you. You get some stripes today. Why not? Oh my god, he upgraded everything. We got new songs? This is brilliant. Wait, Russian. You're so Russian. I'm always expecting the music to kick up, but I, I keep forgetting that I don't have the music on. <laughs> This is the really sad department that everyone keeps dying in. Muttonstead. Jack, while you were in hospital, a hunt was declared on all cops. It's like all criminals in the city suddenly went savage. They're cornering officers one by one and beating them to death. Our boys have started refusing to ride out in cars alone. When the situation is really bad, even two will refuse to go. Well, that's not good. I don't have the manpower to do this shit now. Uh, passerby saw three teenagers setting fire to a parked car. According to eyewitnesses, you can still catch them. They're just walking down the street. No, not even in a hurry. Uh, we'll send two. Send two and see what happens. This is the problem that I've got, especially with Department A at the moment, is that everybody that was good died, <laughs> and now I've just got inexperienced people. Drug sales... Club patrons have found a man lying unconscious in the bathroom due to an apparent drug overdose. Why is Beasley out? I don't understand that. That's okay, we'll send our, uh, our detectives. Vandalism report. What we got? Offender court officers unharmed. Good work, fellas. That's what I like to see. We haven't had, like... I... I don't think we've had a, an episode in like a couple of days uh, playing this, like five or six days in the game where like no officer has died. A security guard notices a suspicious group of teenagers hiding things under their jackets as they're walking past the checkout. When asked to stop, the teenagers scattered in all directions, then ran out of the store into the parking lot. Guard called for the police and says they couldn't have gone far. Alright, I'll send the same two out, I guess. Or I'll send, uh, these two. Send those two out. Good. Drug sale investigation has started. Mr. Bates. Jim Bates, bartender, saw the, saw the little fellow in the white jacket. He ordered a cherry juice, drank at the bar, and then went to the bathroom with some bearded guy. I thought it was... I thought they were just up for a little... Tickle, you, you see you see a lot of those these days. But when the other folks found a bit of guy with his nose in the toilet, I knew the guy in the jacket was up to no good. Doctor, man suffered a heart attack brought on by cocaine use. He was, he lost consciousness, fell down, and hit his head. Man was rushed to intensive care. His condition is serious, but stable. One of the booths had a broken toilet, and the floor beneath was was an empty cocaine bag sitting in a pool of blood. I saw the kid in a silly white jacket running out of the club, ran like the devils were after him. Wish I had some of whatever he was on. I was doing my eye I was doing my eyes at the in the bathroom mirror when I heard a terrible roar on the other side of the wall. Me and my friend went to see what was happening and found the drug addict lying on the floor. Of course we called an ambulance, but it might be better if he didn't make it. These smelly druggies don't stink up, only stink up the air. 
of our beautiful planet. That's still got to do my fucking job. <laughs> Can't just be like, oh, he's a drug addict, so fuck him. An unidentified woman says a stra- that a strange surgeon is operating without a license. Okay, we can send one. Chief, what are you, crazy? I'm not going in there alone. God damn it. It's just an old and senile guy. Like, I don't know what the worst is that could happen with just an old dude who's got no license. But that's fine. That's fine. Fifth report, here we go. Offender escape officers unarmed. Well, at least you're not dead, folks. This department seems to have a bit of a fucking running theme of of things uh, going wrong. Civilian killed. Great. That's great. We got a rape in Chinatown. Alright, and... I can't send anyone else then. Alright. False alarm. Okay. I heard that the goal is actually to make like 500 grand by the time that you leave. I don't think that's going to happen for me. And this post is sure an ordinary man cut off her husband's life support system. Okay, we'll send you two. Good, 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 good. Not a problem. Okay, we haven't gone too bad today, but we don't have the manpower, so I need to get... need to get more cops for Shift A. Shift A. But everyone's so inexperienced. Which is a pain in my ass. So Shift B, we've still got... Like, he's good. But we could still use another person in Shift B. Yeah. Alright. No problem, no problem. I just solve the issues. That's all I'm here for. What do we got? An assault. There we go. Uh, everybody's unharmed. Defenders caught. Great, 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 great. What's this? Trucker just called in. It says a van stopped on the side of the road and a large man got out with shovels. Then someone fell to the ground out the back of the van. I think they had his hands tied up. They hit him in the head with one of the shovels and led him into the woods. I don't like this story. <laughs> I don't like these people. Alright, you know what? They're not going to get back in time, so I'm going to send you and SWAT. I can't send you in the SWAT team. You don't feel fucking safe with a SWAT team behind you. Are you kidding me? Yep, there we go. Great. So we've had two civilians die today. Which looks great on my, uh, a jewelry store heist. Alright, everybody can go in then. We should be able to take them out. We should be able to control the situation. Alright. We're not doing too bad. I mean, two civilians killed today is probably not going to sit well. Homicide. We got two new frames of the homicide. Uh, I don't understand. So, did... did, did what? Okay. Oh. Oh. So the mother died. Okay. Well. He did that. I don't know. Is it any of these? She's sitting in there. Uh, he looks past the kid? No. Um, he tries to whack her, she grabs it, she tries to run, no, she grabs it, tries to run, and then, I don't fucking know. I 
I have no idea how this is meant to go. To be quite honest. Oh, we got the jug sale. Here we go. Lovely job, eh? They went in there, they sold him the stuff, and he died. <laughs> Relatively easy circle of events, I think. Or chain of events, I should say. Situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. I don't have reinforcements. Are you all going to die? Bed not. Alright, everybody's unharmed. Who cares? Um, get the Mafia to sell that. Why not? Let's make a little bit of profit. I need to get up to 500 apparently by the end of the by the end of the campaign in this, so might as well try to get the cops to sell it. Impressive I mean the uh, mafia, Mr. Boyd. I'm still not happy about how soon you're back to work. Well, I need to be back to work. Doctor. As a resident of Freeburg, I'm immensely grateful for it. Okay. Really? <laughs> Just don't tell anyone or they'll pull my license. <laughs> thank you again for coming to see me at night. Oh, well, but yes, you thank, need, you. Mr. Boyd. thank you. Any doctor in this town would come running any hour, day or night, you can believe me. Ah. Uh -huh. You're not suffering from headaches. It says here that you are taking painkillers after a back injury. But yes. A dose is enough to us. Dr. Krachinsky, you trust me? <laughs> and, Do you trust uh, me, sir? Sorry? Do you trust me? Yeah, exactly. In what way, Mr. Boyd? You think I'm an honest and reasonable man, Doctor? You're joking, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> Thanks to you, my wife finally agreed to oh, good. Idea, and we decided to have children. Thanks Yay, to you, good on you. I'm afraid to visit my patients at night. I think you are the most honest and reasonable person in the city, Mr. Boyd. Aw, thank Boyd. you. You see, Dr. Krachinsky, uh, I'm an addict. Oh. Mr. Boyd. I didn't think it was going to be so direct well, with him. I'm not a drug addict in the way you might imagine. I'm not some weak-willed junkie. Some All right. I stay clean so long that the tablets stay locked in the barn so long they go past the expiration date. But there are less pleasant stories. Okay. You know Let's. I once took a whole bottle right there in the barn. Wow. Passed out in my own vomit. Yeah. I almost choked. I fought the convulsions, somehow managed to break four yeah. ribs. For two weeks, my chest was so sore, I wanted to die. But for those two weeks, I kept swallowing pills. Couldn't stop. If you Fair want, enough. I could... I once took a dose right before a party at home. My wife, Laura, had some old friends over from college. And I didn't take that many, maybe five or six pills, but it felt like I'd taken a few hundred. Jesus. I passed out while I was carrying a tray of drinks. On the way down, I knocked over a set of Laura's scented candles. Shit. The house almost burned down. You're a fucking a idiot, Jack. Chunk from our savings. Mr. Good Boy, God. if you'll allow me, I just... Uh... As you can see, Doctor, I'm well aware of the seriousness of the situation and the possible consequences. But sometimes I need the pills. Uh -huh. I don't use the word lightly. Sometimes I've got to work on cases with more energy than I've got. I can't do it without them. And I know you want me doing my job. So tomorrow, I want you to come here and bring me some tablets. Is Lots Jack gonna, like, tablets. die at the end of this Ten by, like, fucking no, ODing? I get yeah, the feeling he's gonna bucks. die. The next three months are gonna be extremely difficult, Doc. I seriously feel like I he's gonna die. To discuss your, uh, You'll bring the pills, Doctor? Uh, yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes. Good Very man. Good. Look, I don't want to trouble you any further. I bet your family doesn't like you running away with me at night. I bet they'd rather I was still in that coma. <laughs> <laughs> he looks terrified of what I'm asking him to do. Oof. Day 60. Alright, day 60. Rogers is responsible for Freeburg PD breakdown. Mayor Rogers supports Kevin Polson as the next police chief. I trust my family. Kevin Polson preparing to take helm of the Freeburg Police Department. <sighs> We're about halfway. My band is playing a charity concert for some sick kids. Can I have the day off? Yeah, but come in tomorrow. We'll give him the day off. He's a good 
cop, so I uh, want to do right by him. Care what's love? Like, I have to choose a song, and yeah, I've turned it down. I've had to turn it down because of copyright issues. From City Hall. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. Are you kidding me? Alright. Someone from Shift A had the go. Alright. Where we go? We got a homicide in the in the ghetto. Two teenagers were sitting on the steps and smoking. A black man approached and asked for a cigarette. Go ask someone else, monkey. The adolescents responded. The man grew enraged, quickly pulled out a knife and drove it into the chest of one of the teens. According to the other teenager who managed to escape, then he took a cigarette, quietly sat down on the steps and started smoking. Asano and Austin can go. <laughs> And hopefully they don't die, because they're good officers. Hopefully none of my officers die, because, to be fair, all of them are kind of needed. Uh, a rape. We got a rape. Let's send two. We're going to have to work in teams of two now. That's how this is going to have to work. Because teams of one don't work anymore, because they're, they're all afraid to go out by themselves. What we got? Fender court, officers are not. Good job, ladies. An assault. Okay, we'll handle the assault in just a hot second. If they're back on time. Rape report. It turns out the, the neighbors had just bought TV and were watching a horror movie. Okay. Up. Oh, are they gonna they're not making it back in time. God damn it. Carjacking! Two teenagers have hijacked a car. Off you go. I know the offender escaped. And the civilian died. Great! That'll keep Itty Hall happy. Not really. Uh, it's cleanliness day in Freeburg, which is widely covered with TV and media. Three employees from all the city services, including, should come out and clean. No. We're, we're stretched too thin at the moment. Because of department body cutting us. So, they can go and uh, suck on that. If they think that I'm going to help them. Especially when they cut our budgets and tell us to get rid of someone that's actually wasn't a bad officer. So, fuck them. Alright, what have we got? Massive fight. Let's send you and you. This is a joke, right? We can't go out there alone and pick someone else. Paddy wagon. Are you serious? You want three people to go with you? I should have just sent four because this one's not going to go by itself. Should have just sent them all in then. Oh well. It's so what happens when you do budget. When you do budget, your department is spread out this thin was what I was trying to say words and stuff massive fight defenders caught officers unharmed civilians unharmed good 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 what we got public indecency can you please just handle this by yourself god damn it why can't you just handle it by yourself like an actual officer and just be like yeah it's all good it's a small case. It's small. Attempt to carjacking. All right, Austin and you can go, and Asano and Mali can go. <sighs> it's hard, man. You come back after being away for what was it? I was away for like 15, 20 days. You come back and everyone's just like, no, I don't want to anymore. Man is standing outside the window, pressing his nose against glass and touching and touching herself under his coat. Um, throw him into the patrol car. Fucking! How dare you! How dare you, sir! 
A theft. We got no new frames. Good. Okay, I guess. No one's trying to steal cars. We're not going to make that. Someone die? Yep. This department's just fucking nose diving at the moment. Just in the middle of a massive nose dive. Which is not good. End of the day. End of the day. What do we got? How you doing, Jack? Jackie boy, how you doing? Doing alright. Wait, I'm going home. Uh, do you need anything? Nah, I'm oh, good. No, no, don't go. I need to talk to you. I won't keep you long. I just need to make one phone call, and I'll be right out. Okay? Okay. Mr. Boyd, you're acting a bit weird, Jack. So what the fuck? What the fuck is happening, Jack? <sighs> Do you know what time it is? Yep. I didn't mean the... Uh, well, maybe I did. <laughs> I'm a son of a bitch. Jack? Good lord, Jack, I wanted to talk to you. Was wondering if you'd call. How do you feel? Ah, it's I'm all good. good. Mrs. Markham. Better than ever. The back pain is gone, the insomnia is gone, my hair is growing back, and my pathological indecisiveness seems to have run off somewhere. He's feeling good, you know, he's feeling fresh and delicious. Always no more time trying to think, Mrs. Markham. Every second counts. There's a lot to do. And one of those things is finding Laura. Jack, your tone is scaring me. Good. Turns out I have a knack for that. Scaring people. So, Mrs. Markham, I'm gonna look for my wife, yep. and if you somehow get in my way... I'll send a special squad to your house. Jesus, Jack. First they'll throw your dog in the fire, then they'll arrest you for prostitution. Jesus what? Christ! What the hell? Prostitution? Sometimes it's necessary to invent charges. It's not like I can arrest you for being an unbearable bitch. What the fuck is going on? Emma, I need a detective. Oh. Of course, Mr. Boyd. What shift? No, no, no. Not one of ours. A private detective. Okay. Um, I know. That I know. She looks very shady. Jewelry and left her. You She's not an <laughs> investigator. You didn't go to the police. Uh, you know, Mr. Boyd, it was a family problem, and we felt that it would... I understand perfectly, Emma. You don't need to explain anything. I'm in a similar situation. As you might have heard, my wife left the house. She's missing, you could say. Uh, I'm not sure what... You're putting her in an awkward spot, dude. I want her found, but I don't want the department involved. Same reason you didn't. So I decided to hire your private detective. Think you can arrange it? Jesus, Jack. Oh, of course, Mr. Boyd. I'll call him and arrange everything. And don't worry, he'll keep it a secret. Yeah, will uh, you? Uh, what do you need from me? Well, just gather all the information that might be useful and put it in an envelope, bring it to me, and I'll take it to him. I good. don't... Okay, take the day mm. off tomorrow and get a good night's sleep. The day after tomorrow, I'll have that envelope for you. Jesus, Jack, what is going on? He's got, like, all this new fucking rebellious attitude going on. Good God. All right, I'm going to leave this episode here. As I said at the start, I don't know whether we're going to make it to the end of this series just because of how long it's going to be dragging on for. And I don't want the series to drag on forever. And I don't want... I don't know. As I've said previously, I don't think that people that are on this platform of YouTube should be showing you 100% of the playthroughs and everything. I think you should be able to discover bits and pieces for yourself. So maybe an alternative is that I skip ahead a little bit and then come back to the series at a later stage and then you guys can go off and fill in the blanks. I don't know, but um, we'll figure it out. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the PaperJ merch store down below. And I want to say a big thank you to all my patrons on Patreon for supporting this episode of This Is The Police. If you would like to become a patron as well, link is in the description. But thank you guys, and until next time, I'm YouTube's PaperJN. Peace out. You on your knees.
I want you on your knees. You're with 